Welcome back, one and all, to Trails of Cold Steel 2. I am the Dark Seraph. Last time we had woken up and we wound up here in Ymir. It's been about a month since the events of the last game. And Reen's friends are all currently missing. All the Empire's major cities are under the control of the Noble Alliance. They've been so focused on those, they haven't looked at the, they haven't had the time with frontier regions like ours. Thankfully, this means Ymir hasn't felt the impact of the Civil War. Yeah. Thank you. I like the Viscount. And sending out in Legram. Or even the Courageous. It's Viscount. Yes, it is the Viscount, not Viscount. For those wondering why the S is silent, it's because the word Viscount comes from the French language, not English. Yes, I'm fully aware both English and French are both Latin languages. Well, English is kind of a Latin language. It's kind of an amalgamation of multiple different languages, including Latin, Gaelic, and Germanic, but it is, in this case, French. Even Greek is in English language. Regardless, I'm just trying to make sure that we're prepared for anything. Especially since our duties have expanded to sheltering Her Highness. Sure. Okay. Let's get some busy work done. Go speak with Master Cafe. I'm guessing this is where Alfin and Elise are staying. Two beds. Then again, it is off the good Baron's office, so it's probably him and his wife, though I question, I question why the Baron and his wife do not share a bed. Most married couples do. A little strange, but not my place to judge. Here's Rain's room because there's his Tachi. A Tachi is kind of like a katana, except it has a hilt. Not a hilt, a guard. This is definitely Elise's room. I just want to get a feel for the house a little bit. his mother. That smells delicious. Pheasant stew? Your very favorite. Nothing like mom's homemade cooking. no idea what was going on with you and your sister. I worried myself sick. That's a nice moment. Despite the portrait, there aren't school uniforms for very long in this. The 
fact, that's one of the little joke comics. Yeah, there's some very funny little chibi art style comics. Like, look, kind of like internet memes. Dog. But you? Bad you. I don't know how that'd be pronounced. Bedu. I think it'd be Bedu. Nice little patio space. You know, for a noble baron's house, I expected it to be bigger. I mean, it's probably larger than most houses, but that doesn't seem like anything else a wealthy... It just seems pretty ordinary, I'm guessing what I'm saying. There's... what is this? Elise! Oh, here you are, Elise. I wasn't expecting to find the two of you together. Well, it's quite cold outside, so I thought I'd come and give Celine some warm milk. Milk is actually very bad for cats. <sighs> I keep telling her that she doesn't need to go out of her way for me, but she won't listen. The steam here is plenty to keep me warm. Oh no, that wouldn't do at all. You saved my brother's life. At least allow me to try and make your stay here in Ymir a comfortable one. Celine saved my life? And when exactly did this happen? Uh, what you mean when she pulled you out of Trista or when she put the shield up around your collapsed body? I told her nothing of the sort. I keep trying to tell her it's not true, but she won't believe a word I say. Um, is something the matter? Nope, not a thing. I'd really rather you didn't act like I saved his life, though. Besides, if anything, I should be the one who owes you. What do you mean? N nothing Forget I said anything. The milk's cooled down a little now, so I'm going to have some. Thank you. <sighs> Thinking back on it, didn't Elise later say she spotted a cat when she went into the old schoolhouse? That better not have been who I think it is. Don't give me that look. I wouldn't have let her in there if I didn't think it was safe, you know? I was desperate. You just had such a half-hearted reaction to that door, so I started getting impatient and... I can't believe you! She could have... She wasn't in any danger, honestly. The Guardian in there was designed not to attack people unrelated to the trial. It didn't touch her even when she was right in front of it, right? That's proof enough. I'm sorry, okay? I never should have done it to begin with. Emma's lectured me over and over about it, too. Good! You're sorry! You... Uh, um... I'm not sure why you're whispering to one another, but regardless, I want you to know how much I appreciate what you did. Like I said before, I want to make your stay a comfortable one. Whatever you need, please don't hesitate to ask. It's okay, really. And... Um... Sorry. Hmm? Why are you sorry? Well, she does genuinely seem to regret what she did. And at least didn't come to any harm. I guess I'll let her off this time. <laughs> I really do have one amazing little sister. Compared to her, I'm... Character tab in your notebook. Cool. Chapdol. Chapdol. The Chapel, a tavern, Phoenix Wings, and out into the valley. Souvenirs, there's this little store here. Yeah, I know, thank you. A puppy watch. It didn't give me a lot of money to work with, but it did give me a lot of equipment, so I shouldn't complain too much. A lot of SFAC new material. That should be more than enough to work with. Okay, cool. I can review those.
here's the tab on. Go inside. Hey, Toval. If you've come to thank me for saving your butt again, save it. I'm just glad I made it in time. Princess Alphen and that sister of yours are the ones you should be talking to. You were on their minds this whole time. Yeah, I can tell. I really do appreciate you coming for me, though. I was pretty far out from town, so I didn't think anyone would find me. Just goes to show what bracers can do, I guess. About that. I wasn't actually the one who found you. You weren't? Apparently not. My guess is it was probably Elise. Two days ago, I got a call out of nowhere on my Arcus. They gave me this crazy amount of detail on exactly where to find you. Then they just hung up. Didn't even say who they were. I figured it couldn't hurt to go take a look. And sure enough, there you were. Hmm. That's strange. I wonder who it was. Wish I could tell you. I couldn't even recognize their voice. Hmm. Nah, no, that's not really true. It was kind of familiar. Maybe. Eh, whatever. No use dwelling on it. Right now we've got bigger problems to tackle than mystery callers. There's the war for starters. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Have you and the rest of the guild been doing much? Well, we've been trying. We're pretty limited on what we can do. Partly because we've all been split up since the war broke out. I don't even know if any of the others in Erebonia are okay, Sarah included. It sounds like things have gotten even more serious since I was away. Sure has. Not even regular civilians have been able to escape being affected by it. As it stands, the Noble Alliance has the overwhelming advantage. But the Imperial Army showing no signs of surrendering to them, particularly in a few regions across the country. I see. Oh, and another thing you might hear. We've been getting reports of a few Jaeger Corps taking part in the war, too. Even members Doesn't of Orbos. Surprise me. Ouroboros? That secret society? That's the one. Jaegers being employed here in Erebonia is nothing new, but there's way more of them here these days. As for Ouroboros, they're probably just trying to stir up trouble of their own. It's what they do best. Then there's the fact that Erebonia isn't the only place with problems right now. Crossbell's full of them, too. There's so much to freak out about these days, it could drive you insane. Right. Sorry, you've got enough on your play without me dumping all this on you, huh? Try saving all those bad thoughts you got piling up for another day, okay? You need to focus on relaxing. You can decide what you want to do after that. Um, sure. Thanks, Toval. You're probably right. You're just a fountain of good advice, huh? <laughs> I've just got a few years worth of life experience on you, that's all. Oh, and while I'm giving you good advice, why not take a dip in the hot springs? Could be a nice way to clear your head. <laughs> it probably would. Hasn't let me down before. Maybe I should pay a visit to the Phoenix Wings later. In fact, I know I'm gonna have to do that. Okay, just let me shop. A fluffy pancake. Rest and shop. I can rest here. Oh! That's worth it for the combat points. Or craft points, whatever you want to call them.
Wrong way. What is this, some kind of restaurant? I got my own recipe book again. And now I can cook again. I know how the cooking works, thank you. Okay, let's give this a try. <laughs> well, how? Ooh, that's not bad. Okay, let's give this a try. <laughs> That'll do for now. now I need to go to the chapel. There's Alfin. Hmm. She's praying so intently. Probably for her brother's safety. Thinking about it, she must be even more distressed right now than I am. Why, hello, Reen! rather well today. Much better than you were yesterday, at any rate. I feel loads better, actually. Thanks. How about you? Are you managing all right here? I'm guessing life in a tiny village like this is harder than you're used to. If there's anything I can do to make things easier for you, though, don't hesitate to let me know. Oh, not at all. I've been simply loving my stay here. The scenery is stunning. The hot springs are all so soothing to say nothing of your mother's spectacular cooking. I'm having the time of my life here. I almost envy Elise for growing up in such a wonderful place. Almost. <laughs> I'm happy to hear you say that. Still. On top of all that, I was able to reunite with you here. Of course. Oh, and meet a mysterious talking cat too. Not everyone gets to do that now, do they? I still haven't had the pleasure of meeting that ashen knight of yours, however. Perhaps I might have the chance once he wakes up? <laughs> I suppose I can dream. Um, well... I realize I'm the last person who has any right to say this, but there's no need to force yourself to bottle everything up and put on a brave face. I know how worried I am about my classmates, so I can only imagine how you must feel. I... I... I'm so sorry. I'm supposed to be royalty. I shouldn't be getting all worked up about something like this, but... I... Just thinking of what my family must be going through is just too much to bear. Cedric and I, we had a fight on the morning it all happened. I was planning to make up with him that evening, but I, I... I'm sure he won't hold that against you. You'll be able to make up with him next time you see him. I'm sure that'll be sooner than you think, too. In the meantime, there's no need to force yourself to seem like being apart from him isn't bothering you. Royalty or not, no one would blame you for being worried or upset. And every single one of us here wants to do what we can to help you. I... <laughs> Thank you. <coughs> I'm fine now. It's super effective. Um, I, I hope I don't sound ungrateful, but... 
I think you should be spending more time with Elise rather than me. This is your first chance in a while to spend some quality time together. I'd hate to take that away from her. Why? <laughs> I mean, it's true that she's a little more dependent on me than you'd expect for a girl her age. But that doesn't mean she needs me hovering around her all the time. Then again, she did seem more shaken up than usual. Maybe you're right. I should try and cheer her up while I still can. But that's not exactly what I meant. Oh, this is so difficult on a fair maiden's heart, I hope you know. You're just making me wish you were my brother all the more! You are a jealous little girl. Why? Now I go out to the valley. My guess is in search of Master Cafe. A winter one. Certainly not that crazy fishing lady. Certainly enough, it is her. Hello, Annabelle. Yes. how this game addresses its world building it gives it gives each student a name and they're almost always mentioned they're always somehow connected like Kenneth and the fencing club and you gave me the fishing stuff I know how the fishing works. This spot looks perfect for fishing. Huh. I'll go do this a few times. Caught one. A cast again? Okay. Explore further into the valley. Or not. I probably will have to later. The Phoenix Wings still. Do I actually have to take a soak in the hot tub? Maybe. No, it's the manager type person.
Enjoy a good soaking. Beat an outdoor hot spring. It feels like all the fatigue that's been building up inside me is melting away. I don't think I realized just how exhausted I was until I came in here. Still, what am I supposed to do now? Chancellor Osborne's been shot, the capital's been occupied, and now even Trista and the Academy are under the Noble Alliance's control. Crow. I was practically a joke. I didn't stand a chance against him. Even borrowing the power of something like a Divine Knight wasn't enough to fight him on equal terms. Far from it. It was hopeless from the start. I didn't realize before, but he was holding back against me the whole time. Even without that trump card of his, he could have defeated me effortlessly. And yet there was me, all happy, thinking that I'd won right before he knocked me back with a single blow. If only I wasn't so weak. If only I'd been able to hold my ground. Maybe things would have been different. Instead, I ended up running away and leaving everyone else behind. There's no point in blaming how things ended on Selene or Valimar. None of this is their fault. This is all on me. Because of that, I've lost everything. I finally found a place where I felt I belonged, and people to share it with, and I lost it all. I thought my life was finally gaining some direction, but now I feel totally lost again. Reen? Sorry if I'm bothering you. Elise, did you want to use the springs too? Um, I... I heard you were here, so I thought that perhaps I could come and join you. I mean, I know we used to come in here together when we were kids, but we're a little old for that now, don't you think? I'm not so sure it's the best idea. Please, we're siblings! There's no need to feel so self-conscious. And you must be exhausted after all that's happened. So I thought the least I could do was come and wash your back for you. That's a little creepy, Elise. The water's nice and toasty, huh? Truth be told, I haven't taken a dip here for some time. I'd forgotten how pleasant it was to sit here and admire the snow. Yeah, same here. Bathing during the fall when the leaves are changing has its charms, but something about watching the snow really relaxes me. And it's plenty relaxing even without a bottle of sake in hand, despite what Master Kafai might tell you. <laughs> <laughs> He's always been a heavy drinker. To say nothing of the fact that Father can never turn down the opportunity to help him finish a bottle or three whenever he visits. Um... I'm sorry. You came out here because you were worried, didn't you? Oh, oh no, not at all. That wasn't why I came here at all. It's just that... You're not the only one. It's like everyone I meet has to go out of their way for me. It's how things have been for my whole life. How everyone feels like they have to be around me. What do you mean? It happened the day Dad picked me up in that blizzard 12 years ago. It happened the day when I lost control and scared you eight years ago. It happened the day Master Kafai cut short my years of training. Wasn't that you who decided to cut it short? It even happened only last month, when everyone risked their lives so that I, and I alone, could be saved. That's not... <sighs> Looking back on my life, I've been too fortunate for my own good. All I've done is bask in the kindness of everyone I know, giving nothing worthwhile in return. On the contrary, I've brought nothing but misfortune to them instead. Like I'm 
some kind of curse. I, I don't have the right to be treated kindly. I don't deserve to have others putting themselves out for me. Not when I seemingly can't do a thing to return that kindness and am too weak to fight for them when they need it most. None of this should have ever happened. If I'd known it would, if I'd known things would ever become like this, then I'd never have gone to the Academy to begin with. Stop! Do you seriously mean all that you've just said? I... Uh... The right to be treated kindly? And who exactly decides who has that right, whatever that's supposed to be? Uh. I don't look out for you because I expect something in return or because I want you to defend me. Acts of kindness aren't debts to be repaid. I look out for you because I care about you, because you're important to me. And I'm sure that Mother, Father, Master Kafai, your classmates, and all of your other acquaintances feel the same. So please, from the bottom of my heart, Please don't say that you don't have the right to be treated kindly. Of course you do. You just don't realize it. You care so much about the people who matter to you. So why can't you understand that those people care just as much about you? <gasps> Think back to that day when you were separated from your classmates. What kind of expressions did they have when you parted from them? They... Some of them seem pretty intense. <laughs> they were smiling. Some of them were, some of them were prepared to fight. They all believed that we'd see each other again. That no matter what happened along the way, we'd all be reunited. And that one day, we'd move forward together as a class again. Just like we did before. <sighs> Maybe there's nothing wrong with feeling lost and impatient from time to time. I believe in all of them. And if they see me as worthy of their trust, then I'd like to try and believe in myself too. classmates, and more than that, we're friends. So long as I keep moving forward, I'm sure that somewhere, someday, our paths will cross again. I... I think so too, Reen. Thanks, Elise. I feel like you gave me exactly what I needed to move forward. <laughs> you don't need to thank me. I didn't do anything. All I did was remind you of something you already knew. It was your time at... <laughs> oh, I, mean I admit, I am a little envious of your classmates, though. <laughs> Still, I'm really thankful to have you in my life. I might not be the most dependable brother in the world, but I'd appreciate it if you kept looking out for me. <laughs> and while it might be a ways away, I'll keep striving to be an older brother you can be proud of. I'm always proud of you, you know? And of course I will. <laughs> I see all's well that ends well. Alfin. Y your Highness? And you've brought Celine, too. <sighs> Hope you don't mind us barging in. Well, what brings you here? I heard that you were both here from Toval. So I thought I might come along and see how everything was going. Besides, how could I pass up a chance to help cheer up Reen? And oh, what a heartwarming sight I happened to stumble upon during my humble quest. <sighs> Considering you were waiting for the perfect time to make your grand entrance, stumbling is a stretch. You were waiting? Were you listening in the whole time? Yes. <laughs> ever known me to be so unladylike? But I see you've done a fine enough job for the both of us. Oh, the bond between siblings is truly a miraculous thing. A 
Not only do you share an unwavering kinship, but you'll always have the tender embrace of skinship within reach. Stop it! I'm so jealous. Stop it! <laughs> I appreciate your concern, though. Alfin, stop. Still, Elise is one thing, but I'm not entirely comfortable sharing the springs with you, your highness. Oh, come now, Reen. This is the bath. Ranks are stripped once our clothes are, as far as I'm concerned. That being said, may I join Elise in washing your back as well? You don't touch me. This would make the perfect chance for us to finally strengthen our bond as honorary siblings. Wouldn't you agree? You're creeping me out, Elspeth. Your Highness, please! <laughs> I'm sorry, okay? Huh? About, you know, things. I'm not exactly all that cognizant of human feelings and the like. Emma often points out as much. But thinking back, I have done some things that were probably quite insensitive in your eyes. <laughs> Look at you. Huh? If anything, I should be the one apologizing. I shouldn't have taken my frustrations out on you like that. Can you forgive me? F forgive you? Why would I need to... Ugh. I really don't get you sometimes. What was that? I do believe that was the cranky Magic that Night Golem like... thing. I know exactly what that was. It's that Magic Night we ran into on the way down the mountain. I had a feeling Toval's art wasn't enough to finish it off. But the fact it's still active isn't the only problem. It sounds like it's coming this way. And it sounds cranky. It sounds very, very cranky. You're certain then? Oh, I'm getting Toval. Uh, Elise, I don't know how I feel about you going into battle. I don't know how comfortable I am with this. You have an extra Arcus? Oh, she has an Arcus. Okay, so she is familiar with battle practice. Okay. I need to eat something before I record anymore. It's a little after 2 o'clock. I haven't eaten all friggin' day. I did not eat breakfast. Okay, I can now customize battle order. And here's that tactic again. I know how these work, thank you. Saber. Interesting. That might be a rapier. I can't quite tell.
That is current. That is certainly a saber. You have no. I cannot give you any costumes, but I can give you a ride on Mishy that clips in your. Oh my God, that is precious. As is that, but it doesn't quite fit her. A kitty set. Oh my god. Oh, and they actually are hair bands. That's actually just a hair band. And my guess is that tail is a tie-in. Fairy set. I'll hold off on giving her costumes. I'm going to end this one here. Thank you all for watching. Join me next time. Next time. Next time. A, 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 he carries a attack baton. Okay. I'm going to end this one here. Thank you all for watching. I'm the Dark Seraph, signing off.